Creative Art. I am Nalima and today I am very excited to share this explosion of creativity came out just while making these simple but beautiful greeting cards by just using a stock of 12 sheets and 60 elements. I was able to make 25 unique and most beautiful greeting cards you have ever seen. So friends, do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. Now let's quickly check out all the materials. In this pack of Boho Dreams, you get 12 sheets of 250 GSM printed acid-free card stocks, which are of 12 into 12 size, 12 designs including one sheet of pre-punched dollies, one element sheet, and one sheet of journaling cards. Now let's quickly open the packaging and check all the sheets. Here I have got four plain printed sheets which are so good to make greeting cards. One pre-punched doodly sheets which look like this. We can directly take out the cutout pieces. We don't have to make any extra cut. One element sheet. So this has all the elements and designs which include in this theme. It is absolutely beautiful and my most favorite which is the journaling card sheet. I'm going to cut out all these pieces to create so many different greeting cards out of them. And the most most favorite are these beautiful five printed sheets. I have to say friends that the quality of sheets is really great. It is so good and thick that just one layer of it is enough. All these beautiful sheets can be used in making journals but this time I'm going to show you how you can make use of each and every sheet in the most efficient way. So we are going to convert all these sheets into cute beautiful greeting cards and let's see how many we can make out of 12 sheets. So let's start now friends. Now first of all, I will start by separating all the doodlies from the sheets. It is really very easy. It will simply pop out in this way and you have got your piece. Okay, so in the same way you can separate all the nine pieces. And my most favorite sheet is this one which is the journaling card using a sharp scissor i'm going to cut all the 12 pieces and separate them now if we cut all the journaling cards exactly by its section we'll get this kind of beautiful perfect shaped and lined pieces each piece has a different look and a different theme so that is perfectly going to match with each of these beautiful sheets. And now let's separate all the doilies from the doily sheet. It's very easy to pop out each piece. So now finally we have 12 different journal cards and we have 9 different doilies. Now what you have to do is simply pick up any of the card, for example this one, and match it with the sheet you like. I think this card with the yellow polka dots absolutely matches with the yellow sheets which have a lighter polka dots. So I'll place it right here because we are going to place this card with this sheet. In the same way, start matching up all the cards with the sheets you like. That can be completely your choice as we have so many different designs and so many different prints. The same step I'm going to do with the doilies. You can either match them with the similar card or just the opposite color cards according to the ring line or the background color or the name color printed on it. So you definitely have different choices. Just by doing this simple mix and match technique, you can easily make 25 beautiful greeting cards out of this pack and if you want to make a few more greeting cards you can always make sure to add some white handmade paper sheets and there is a one more additional option to place these all beautiful handmade paper sheets these two are the marble layered beautiful sheets these two are also different textured sheets and you can clearly see these ones are also beautiful textured sheets and 
few boho elements. So these elements will be definitely helpful if you want to multiply the number of cards from 25 to double that is 50 greeting cards. So now friends let's start making all the greeting cards one by one. For the first type of card I have selected six different pieces of journaling cards which look like this. Each one has a different print with a different design of border and different messages written on them. And for placing them, I have selected three different beautiful printed sheets. The first one is a stained wood sheet. The second one has a beautiful print of delicate feathers. And the third sheet is a yellow polka dot sheets with which these two cards perfectly match. And for the feather one, I have selected the similar feather themed cards. And similarly for the stained wood, I have selected these two cards. So now friends, using a scissor, I'm going to exactly cut the base sheet in two parts. So now here we have two beautiful pieces. After cutting the sheet into half, just draw a middle line so that the folding of the sheet will be very much easier and clean. You see? As soon as I fold, I have got a very clear line and then press it gently. If you already make a line from inside the page, you will get a very clear insertion. And if you don't do that, you can get this kind of wrinkles while folding your sheet. So in the same way, we'll do with all the three sheets. Now after folding all the pieces, this is how the cards should look with their base absolutely matching. So now friends, using a glue, I'm going to place the card exactly in the center of our base card. So just place four points of glue. We don't have to make it very sticky and place it exactly where you want it, but just one time. Press it for a few seconds and it will be placed. You see, this is how beautiful it looks. You can definitely add more elements on the sides or anywhere you want, which I'll be showing you in the next step. Let's place all the cards on place first. So in this way, I made six different beautiful cards. My absolute favorite among these are the feather printed simple but elegant beautiful cards as well as this ones with the stained wood print. These are the ones I would love to keep simple because they look so elegant this way. So this is one, two, three, four, five and six. I think these two yellow cards look a bit simple than others. So we always have option of adding one or two extra element on our cards and that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add this beautiful lace on the bottom of the cards which will make it look much more elegant and will add an extra effect. You can do one more thing is to use this kind of beautiful element which came in the packet of Boho Dream same 60 pack elements and I'll just emboss it using my embossing tool as I have shown you in my previous video and then place it right exactly on top of the same printed image. So this will give it an X factor and a very very beautiful look. So let's do it. So first I'll add the lace. I'm just going to add few drops of Fevicol on the lace. One of the most most important factor of making greeting cards is to keep it clean. If you don't keep it clean, it can lose its beauty. So be very careful while you apply any kind of glue. It should not exceed the part you don't want. So I'm gently pressing it. So it looks. Let's do the same on the second one. Gently press it and then let it dry in this way. If you have any extras like this, you can either fold the lace or you can cut the lace, but do it just after your print is dry. And now I'm going to emboss this piece. I won't be very hard on it, just being gentle. To learn how to do it, you can watch my previous video, which was on 3D decoupage. Okay, you can clearly see it is ready and so good uplifted. Now to place this piece exactly where I want, I'm going to use two side tape. 
cut it in two different thin parts and apply it on the back side. I'm going to use two pieces. Remove the yellow extra layer and then place it exactly on that image, top of that image. So you can see here that we got an uplifted look which really looks so beautiful with that glittering touch. So now we will let the glue get dry completely and now let's make our next greeting card. Now in the same way you can make similar kind of greeting cards in the horizontal cut but this time I'm going to make a vertical cut just because I have a design in my left corner. So this time I'm going to cut the sheet half in a vertical way. And then I already have placed a line from in between. So let's fold it exactly. After cutting the sheet into half and folding it, you get two different pieces. The first one you can place it vertical in this way and the second one you can either place it vertical in this way or else parallel in this way. That is completely your choice. I'm thinking to make this one also a vertical card. So I'm going to use a doodly which says dream on and I'm going to place it exactly in the center part in this way. Using an embossing tool, I have already embossed it. So now let's place it exactly on the center. It says dream on. Now from this sheet, we have got two beautiful vertical greeting cards and I'm going to improvise them by using few elements and this beautiful lace. I think this light pink ribbon will perfectly match a greeting card. Just one single length will be enough. So let's cut it. For this kind of ribbons, try to keep a little bit extra like this and then tape it from inside. And then use glue. You can also use some tape and place it on the back side, not on the same side. So on the front, the lace is going to be free, but it will be attached right on the back side. Perfect. You see, it gets quickly attached and then you get a very clean look of ribbon on the entire front side. I think it looks beautiful this way. Let's place our next lace which I'm thinking to place right on the top of the greeting card in this way. Let's just place a few drops of glue. Hold it where you want to place it for a few seconds and it will easily get stick. I think it looks quite beautiful this way. So these are our two beautiful vertical greeting cards. If you want, you can place one more layer of string or else you can also add this kind of beautiful element sheet right inside it. Just like this one, something like this. Let's just place one more element, which is this. I'll place the arrow upwards. Press it for a few seconds and this is ready so now finally this is how beautiful two of our vertical greeting cards look when we decorate it using few laces elements doodlies and ribbons you can add on anything as you like i would like to keep them like this beautiful and elegant now let's start making our next greeting cards now for our next greeting cards i'm going to use few acrylic color paint brushes sponge a white paper sheet few texture sheets few element cards, few doodlies and if you need you can also use these kind of extra elements to decorate your card in any way you like. So let's begin. First of all start by folding an A4 white paper sheet into half like this and then you can use any acrylic color. I would like to use some neon pink and tap 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 the sides. Tap it and bring it inside. You can also use a sponge. I really like to do it this way. Finally, it's done. This is how it looks. The same step I'm going to do on the edges of these kind of jute texture sheets. As the neon pink is so, so bright, it's very difficult to manage with other similar colors. So brighten up their edges also. Now, face it, looks such beautiful, brilliant pink. With this, I'm going to place green and this beautiful unicorn element right in the center. 
it perfectly fits so let's start placing each one of them right on place add some glue and then place it exactly using two side tape place the element and finally this is how beautiful it looks in the same way i will be making more similar looking greeting cards now in the same way i have done golden color on the borders of this sheet and i'm going to place this kind of net textured paper exactly in the center so add some glue and place it exactly in the center point then i'm going to add these two elements and finally i'm going to place this element exactly the same print which is on the card on it using two side tape now let it get dry and this is how beautiful this card looks for our next card on the base i'm going to add this kind of glittering fabrica glue this is 3d glitter adding one line right here the other line right here using a palette knife just spread it out in this way you see get this kind of beautiful tinted effect do the same with this one let's place this jute sheet right in the center and beautiful unicorn element right on the top and finally this is how beautiful it looks for our next card the trick is very simple to do it layers on layers so here on a white sheet i'm going to place one beautiful transparent textured sheet which has light pink color and through which the white paper is clearly visible and that also makes it look bright the next is this texture sheet which is a jute texture sheet and then this beautiful card just give them all a little press and it will be exactly on its place and this is how beautiful it looks now our next card is also a layer on layer for which i'm going to use a jute sheet as my base and for the card i'm going to use a plain white sheet i'm prepping my jute sheet using a neon pink color and we'll be doing just the edges lightly okay i love the shading effect and now let's start placing it on our sheet Place it exactly on the base like this and then place the card exactly in the center. This piece just simply looks so beautiful so I'm going to keep it this way and this is how finally it looks. Now for our next greeting cards I have already cut few of the sheets in different shapes. Uh, so I have divided one sheet into three parts which would be like this this is a 12 into 12 size sheet so this are the two halves and this is the bottom part so the bottom part i have folded in a vertical way to get like this look and these are the other two in the same way i have done with more four sheets and here we have all the similar patterns i did divide all the beautiful printed sheets which has a lot of a heavy dose of prints and these ones are the ones we can simply just plainly make cards out of them and for the vertical ones i have cut out few elements from the element sheet to place it on them as well as a few doodlies are ready and even this time friends we will be using few ribbons and laces to decorate our cards as much as possible so let's begin with these ones first now first of all cut out a white paper which should be twice the size of your design sheet then measure it once before you place it so this fits perfectly using fevicol or any white glue place your design sheet on the white sheet exactly press it or just keep it under a book to get the exact shape do the same with all the cards after placing the design sheets on white paper on one side 
let's start decorating it using few ribbons laces and the cards and elements we have got for this card i have selected this element card and a dark pink ribbon so now using fabicol and place the ribbon simply take a very light amount of fabicol on the lace and place it on the card in this way first if you're having a dark color lace it is very easy doing it this way but if you're using a lighter color lace make sure that you attach only these two inner ends with glue let the remaining outer side be open and then i'm going to place this beautiful card right in the center just give it a gentle press and finally this is how beautiful it looks in the same way you can make very much similar looking cards you can definitely add you can definitely add on different laces and different beautiful cards let's do one more apply glue on the lace gently pick it up and place it exactly where you want it to be in this way just give it a few gentle tappings to lay it right on the place i'm going to cut out this excess lace till that let's place this follow your heart and this is how it is done in the same way we can place ribbons on the vertical cards also here i'm using a maroon color ribbon placing white glue which is fabicol and then this time i'm going to stick it vertically in this way just give it a little press and it will be right on its place I'm going to place these beautiful elements on the sides. Using two side tape, you can easily place them. It says, never stop dreaming. So in the same way, friends, I have placed more ribbons and laces on rest of my greeting cards. And this is how we are going to lay each one of them. Now in the same way, I have placed laces on all my remaining cards and I'm going to place only just few extra elements. I'm placing this one in the center. This is how beautiful it looks. Placing a unicorn on this card. And this is how it looks. I think even this looks very pretty and beautiful. So in the same way friends, you can make as many as greeting cards you like. Just use your imagination and you can create the same yourself by using this beautiful 12 stock of cards. Now friends, I have finally completed making all 25 greeting cards and this is how beautiful all of them look together. I have to say friends, making these beautiful cards was an explosion of creativity. You can see all over here. Each card is different but beautiful at a time. All these time, I loved combining different materials and elements with each other. Sometimes I did use acrylic colors from gold to neon pinks. Sometimes a beautiful laces, a different type of laces and ribbons different shape of elements and sometimes i also gave them this kind of beautiful butterfly shape and this is a 3d greeting card i also embossed some of the doodlies and the elements which really gives the greeting card a beautiful 3d look i have to say each one is special and these cards will definitely make the person feel special so friends this is the display of all 25 cards i have shown you making in this video do visit my website which is www.creativearthome.com in which i'm going to display each and every card so that you can take a reference and make them yourself so do tell me in the comments below friends how did you like this video and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching